I'm so excited. We've been invited into the home of one of my favorite Toronto interior decorators, Isabella Bova, to talk about Design Trends for 2015. So welcome to my home. Uh, I've actually decided to renovate the house very forward thinking. So because this is my house, I didn't have to convince anyone else why they had to have like really, really bold colors. But in 2015, we're gonna see a lot of this peacock blue color that you see on the sofa. It's a little scary when you're just buying a sofa and all you see is the blue, but you have to always think about layering. And another trend coming in for 2015 is going to be layering geometric patterns. It sounds easy because you go into the store and they all look gray, but you really have to watch for the proportions. So here we have this chevron rug, very, very bold statement. And then we have another bold statement, which are these accent chairs with another geometric pattern. The reason why they, they can work together is because the chevron rug has a very bold, thick pattern, whereas this is a lot thinner. So there we go, we get to start to layer them. Also then you wanna put solid things on top to give it a breath of fresh air like these pillows. Another huge trend that we've started to already see for 2015 is gold. Gold, brass, copper, rose. I always get inspiration from, for example, um, high-end store, fashion store. So Michael Kors is on top of all of the trends as far as I'm concerned. Walk in there and look at what watches they have on display. Right now they're definitely gold, coppers, and all those that I've mentioned. So you can see that we have a layering effect of accessories. I brought in some gold, but don't be afraid to mix it with some silver as well. You don't want to go over top and just have everything be gold. So be smart about mixing your, your metals and it's perfectly okay. This coffee table here is chrome. So we've seen chrome for many years now, and you might be afraid to mix the chrome if you're doing the gold. But if you have a chrome piece, add something gold inside it, and then all of a sudden it works. Something very interesting to note in 2015 will be new innovative materials replicating marble. We've had materials in the past that replicate marble, but they've never been anywhere near good enough to actually use. Finally, in Toronto has come to market a new product. It's actually a porcelain with a graphically embedded marble pattern that's very realistic. This right here is actually that new product. So this is replicating Calcutta marble. Calcutta marble for a fireplace like this can run you around $10,000 easily. But with this new product, you're looking at a fraction of the cost. Another trend that's been coming along for many years now, but it's more important than ever, is how do we make use of small spaces? I'm pretty proud of this little invention over here, and I call it an invention because uh, all of the, the contractors we had that come, came in here, I just said, I want a den that can close up and become a wall that you don't see when you're in the living room. And they were all sort of a little bit confused because usually when you have doors, you have casings and you have moldings around the doors and I didn't want that. So I had to get creative and do some sketches and really explain my vision. In the end, it worked out. So this wall right here, when you open it, becomes my home office. And I absolutely love it because you're not confined to a room. So you have all the natural light coming in. And at the same time, if you're messy, just close it and you have company over and it doesn't even matter. Welcome to my kitchen. As we all know, open concept kitchens are definitely where it's at. One thing that we're gonna see more of in 2015 is layering. And what I mean by layering in kitchens is we're no longer gonna see the all white kitchen. Don't be afraid to have a different countertop for your island, a different countertop for your workspace, and still a different backsplash. And also, don't be afraid, contrary to popular belief, to mix whites and creams. This is very white, Bianco Carrara, and these cabinets are actually an off-white. It gives it a very contemporary and warm, modern look. Also, the island is dark, and the cabinets are light. So don't be afraid of layering. In 2015, the color blue and green and turquoise, very rich, opulent colors, are going to be very popular. And definitely don't be afraid to put them in spaces like a dining room where you maybe want to have a more moody atmosphere. Uh, my husband and I, at first, when we talked about it, uh, they were saying, well, my husband was saying, well, I'm not really sure about that color. And then I said, let's just try it, it's just paint. So we painted the room and there was nothing else in the room. 
and, and, and everybody absolutely hated it. Um, I said, let's just wait. So I think it's important to go with your gut feeling when you use a very bold color and just wait it through to the end. So when we finished the space, found this beautiful peacock art, some sconces, a chandelier, and a rustic table, it all came together and it's one of everyone's favorite rooms. See, we're really being conscious about being local, sustainable, even going out to eat to restaurants that are independently owned and source local foods. So uh, in our interior design industry, we're actually finding that more of our clients are opting to hire local artists to do their artwork as opposed to buying online or in big box stores. Here's a perfect example. This is by an artist, her name is Chantelle Settle from Waterloo. That's where I grew up and I feel like I want to support the town. And I just kind of, when I shop around, I have ideas for art and I'll send them to her and I'll say, okay, this is what I'm thinking for this space and she'll make it and I feel really good about it. So this is the peacock, uh, sorry, the, the artwork that she made for me. It kind of goes with the gold theme and a lot of the feathers with the peacock in the dining room. She also made these two for me. So I think the idea, the idea is don't be afraid to get real art from a local artist. You'd be surprised. The price point is very reasonable and you can literally create anything you want and it's original on your wall. Welcome to my master bedroom. It's quite different than the rest of the house because I wanted a place to come and just relax. Very calm place. So th this type of color scheme has been around for many years. But in 2015, as I mentioned, you're gonna to start to see the golds coming in alongside with some warm wood tones and then the beiges. The beiges now have almost like a, a warm green tone to them. This, the name of this wall color is called Gray Lake. A lot of times when you're picking colors, believe it or not, read the name, see if it sort of works with what you're trying to achieve. And in this case, I really think it did. 